Hello all welcome to our channel let's learn together in this video i'll be explaining the example of bisection method in our previous video i have explained the bisection method in detail with an example do check that video i'll provide the link in the description now coming to our example that is determine the negative root of x cube minus 4x plus 9 equals to 0 using the bisection method so f of x is this equation so first of all what is this negative root to find the negative root of f of x equals to 0 we have to take the values of x starting from minus 1 minus 2 and so on that is we have to take the negative values okay so that is the negative root and the remaining process of finding the real root using the bisection method is same as I, as I have explained in the previous video okay now we'll start with our step 1 what is step 1 we have to choose the values of a and b right so let us take x equals to minus 1 as it is negative root we have to only take the negative values substitute x equals to minus 1 in this equation that is f of minus 1 equals to minus 1 whole cube minus 4 into minus 1 plus 9 so after calculating this value you will be getting the positive value which is greater than 0 now consider x equals to minus 2 that is f of minus 2 f of minus 2 is substitute in this equation and you will be getting greater than 0 what we have to satisfy f of a into f of b should be less than 0 right so consider f of minus 1 into f of minus 2 this is positive value again this is positive value positive into positive results in positive which is greater than 0 so we can't consider these both values consider x equals to minus 3 so substitute x value in this equation and you'll be getting less than 0 now consider these both values you will be getting f of minus 2 into f of minus 3 because this is positive value and f of minus 3 is negative value right negative positive into negative is less than 0 therefore the condition is satisfied therefore the root lies in a comma b what is a a is minus 3 and b is minus 2 the root lies between these both values now what is our next step we have to find the real root that lies between minus 3 to minus 2 okay we have to do the approximations for that right first approximation i am denoting it as x1 what is the formula a plus b by 2 from here minus 3 minus 2 divided by 2 which is equals to minus 5 by 2 that is minus 2.5 now calculate f of x1 substitute x1 that is minus sorry minus 2.5 right minus 2.5 in this equation and you will be getting 3.375 which is a positive value and it is greater than 0 now you have to check whether f of x1 into f of minus 3 is less than 0 or not f of x1 is a positive value f of minus 3 is less than 0 which means negative value positive into negative is negative and hence it is both the multiplication is less than 0 therefore we have satisfied the condition therefore the root lies in these both values right minus 3 what is x1 x1 is minus 2.5 now I x2 x2 from here take the average now the root lies between minus 3 to minus 2.5 okay now take the average of both these minus 3 minus 2.5 divided by root that is minus 2.75 now again calculate f of x2 by substituting in this equation so you will be getting f of minus 2.75 as minus 0 0.796875 which is less than 0 okay i've told you that we have to uh, do the approximations until two successively approximated values are approximately equal right check whether minus 2.5 the first approximation and minus 2.75 the second approximation are approximately equal no we have to go for the third approximation now 
So now check whether f of x2 into this one f of minus 3 here this one okay I'll just highlight it. Okay, f of minus 3 is less than 0 or not, f of x2 is negative value, f of minus 3, where is f of minus 3, here, f of minus 3 is also a negative value, negative into negative results in positive, is it less than 0, no, now check, f of minus 2.5, f of minus 2.5 where is f of minus 2.5 here it is greater than 0 negative into positive is negative so less than 0 therefore the root lies in these both values right between minus x2 is this one minus 2.75 to minus 2.5 now i'll be going for third approximation as i already told right now I'll be erasing this. Okay, I'll be erasing this. Okay, now the root lies in these both values. Okay, remember this. Now third approximation that is step 4. Third approximation. I'm denoting it as x3. x3 is from second approximation take the average minus 2.75 minus 2.5 divided by 2 what will be the value minus 2.625 calculate f of x3 x3 is minus 2.625 so substitute here in this equation you will be getting 1.4121 which is greater than 0 now check whether f of x3 into f of minus 2.75 is less than 0 or not f of x3 is positive value f of minus 2.75 what is f of minus 2.75 this is x2 right which is neg sorry which is negative value positive into negative is negative this is less than 0 therefore the condition is satisfied hence the root lies in these both values that is minus uh, 2.75 to x3 minus 2.75 to x3 what is x3 minus 2.625 okay now check whether the second approximation and third approximation are approximately equal that is 2. minus 2.75 and minus 2.625 no we have to go for fourth approximation also okay now going for the fourth approximation step 5 fourth approximation and i am denoting it as x4 take the average minus 2.75 minus 2.625 divided by 2 what will be the value of x4 minus 2.6875 now again calculate the value of f of x4 which is f of minus 2.6875 and the value will be 0 0.339 which is greater than 0 fine now check whether f of x4 into f of minus 2.75 is less than 0 or not f of x4 is a positive value f of minus 2.75 is a negative value therefore it will be less than 0 hence the condition is satisfied therefore the root lies in these both values that is minus 2.75 to what is x4 x4 is minus 2.6875 okay now once again check the fourth approximation and third approximation are equal yes till one decimal that is 2.6 and 2.6 but let's uh, go till the two decimals okay two decimal values are approximately equal now going for the fifth approximation i'm denoting it as x5 okay take the average minus 2.75 minus 2.6875 divided by 2 x5 is equals to minus 2.71875 okay now if you check the fifth and fourth i guess 
uh, no like for fourth approximation that is minus 2.6875 it is approximately equal to minus 2.71 i think we can approximate right so we can stop the process here because the two approximations are approximately equal therefore we can stop this process and the real negative root is minus 2.71875 okay so i think this is visible 2.7 2 so this is all about the bisection method uh, to find the negative root of an algebraic equation using the bisection method. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe for more videos. Thank you. Bye.